Greetings. Welcome back to my devotions. Grace and peace be with you. My topic for today is the wisdom of God. And my scripture reading will be taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. And I'll read. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor e'er heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the deep things of god ear handing a portion of god's holy word i honor him by saying glory be to god After exposing the futility of worldly thinking in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul introduces Christians to the higher realm of godly wisdom. This kind of knowledge and understanding isn't available through human intelligence and reasoning. It comes strictly through divine revelation. Only those indwelled by God's Spirit have the mind of Christ and access to the things freely given to them by God. Without this supernatural insight, no one can accurately know the Lord or His ways. Many people say they believe in God, yet may not have a correct understanding of Him because their perceptions are based on their own thoughts and ideas. It's easier to custom design a God to fit our preferences than to make the required adjustment that worship of the one true God demands. Even believers need to guard against trying to fit God into their preconceived image of him. The Bible is the only reliable source of divine revelation, but we must be careful to consider the scripture as a whole. It's critical that we don't just pick and choose the verses we want to believe. For example, by focusing only on passages that emphasize the Lord's loving kindness while excluding those that speak of his holiness and justice we misunderstand his true nature let's seek to know the lord in truth by considering the entire counsel of scripture divine wisdom is available to every believer through the holy spirit who searches the depths of god May we never try to limit him to fit our preferences. Instead, may he enlarge our minds to embrace his thoughts. Let us pray. Father, thank you for today and thank you for everything that you have given us. You have given us life, creation and hope. More than anything else, you have given us an unspeakable gift, a plan of salvation through your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that you grant me your divine wisdom as I make you the center of my life. 
Guide me in all that I do. Save me from pride, arrogance, doubt, and fear. Lord, make the plans you have for my life clearer each day. Open my eyes to see the truth. Open my ears to hear your word. I open my heart to gain understanding and your eternal divine wisdom. Help me to be a blessing to others who I come in contact with each and every day. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you for listening. I hope you have been blessed. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to share these words with someone you think would like to hear. God bless you. Have a great and productive day. Peace.